Are you and your organization working towards becoming a paperless office? Well, Microsoft Dynamics GP has a great feature called Document Attached. It goes a long way towards this goal. If your role in your organization is to enter transactions like an AP clerk and you would like to include scanned or electronic copies of your invoices, purchase orders, bill of lading, etc. Or maybe you're a purchasing manager who needs access to a manufacturer's product images, technical specification, white papers, or vendor contracts, then this might be a feature you'd want to implement soon. So Document Attach is a feature that allows the user to do all of this. And it's not just restricted to payables. Uh, you can attach them to master records like customers and vendor cards, uh, inventory items, and to transactions like uh, sales and purchasing invoices. So no more messy, no no more messy uh, filing cabinets and lost forms. All the documents are saved with the related record or transaction in GP. Let's start by attaching a contract to uh, one of the vendors. So let's pull up a vendor, and then we can click on the attach icon up at the top. And here is the document attach management window. Now we have a couple of options uh, when attaching a document. We can attach by uh, navigating to the location we've saved the document. In this case, um, uh, that's what we're going to do. But if I had a scanner um, attached to uh, my uh, GP or linked to my GP, I could actually and you could actually uh, just scan directly off of GP without scanning first and then uh, looking for the file to attach it. We have other options in here. We can uh, select whether we want the attached document to flow or not to flow. What that means is any transactions, if it was set to flow, it, uh, any transactions for this vendor will automatically have the document that we've entered here um, attached to the transaction. The other options um, include uh, whether we'll allow GP to send these attachments as part of an email. We'll keep that marked and uh, we'll take a look at how that works a little later. Let's start creating transactions for this uh, vendor. So let's start with a purchase order. I'll create a PO and bring in an item. Any five of these guys. Okay, so now we have um, a PO, and you'll notice when we click on document attach, we'll save this, that the attachment on the vendor had flowed, because we selected the option to flow, had flowed into the PO. That way, when we're creating the PO, uh, the person entering it or approving the PO will have a document to refer to uh, to make sure that we're, we're adhering to stipulations and agreements. Okay, We have the line item here. We can add attach documents to it. But if we click here, we'll notice that another uh, item had flowed from the item master this time. If we preview this, it's a picture. So now you can visually uh, make sure that you have selected the right item. We can add additional documents, like if you had uh, a data sheet that you want to attach, maybe for an approver to go over to make sure that this is the correct item. So I've attached that here. Now let's go ahead and email this purchase order. We've marked the documents attached um, to be included in the emails. So let's do that, let's see how that looks. So if we went to actions, we're gonna select the documents to attach, okay. Uh, well, let's just mark all of it just to test it out. And we can email it, send. Just wait for the system to generate that email. I've sent it to myself, so it should pop up any moment now. There we go. And you can see that aside from the PO, here's our PO. 
we have also attached our contract, the image, and the data sheet. We can also attach um, documents to posted transactions through the inquiry windows. So we can pull up a, a previous transaction from this vendor. We'll look at all the historical ones. We'll grab this invoice here and you'll see that the attach icon is available as well. So maybe we wanted to attach something we've missed in the past, maybe a bill of lading. Open it. Okay. So the document attach module in GP is a great way for you to reduce the use of paper in your office, it, not to mention it's going to be great for the environment in the long run. So if you have any questions on anything you've seen here today, uh, or would like to talk about anything else uh, regarding Microsoft Dynamics GP, please visit us at www.profit.ca. Have a wonderful day, and I thank you for viewing.